Senator Gary Peters began his annual motorcycle tour around Michigan today. Over the course of the tour this week, he will ride about 800 miles. While he kicked it off in Kalamazoo this morning, one of his first stops was at the National Guard's Grand Valley Armory in Wyoming. Now, last year, Peters got almost $26 million in federal funding for the National Guard Bureau to modernize armories across Michigan. And the goal is to make sure they have adequate facilities for women serving in the National Guard. Back when these uh, facilities were designed, women were not part of uh, the National Guard. Now they represent nearly 20 percent. And in order to retain members as well as to recruit uh, women into the service, it's important to make sure that they have facilities uh, that are uh, that are equal uh, to everyone else uh, who is in the, in the building. Today's tour comes on the heels of last night's election. A big focus was the primary race for U.S. Senate. His counterpart, Senator Debbie Stabenow, is retiring. And now we know that the matchup on November 5th will be Democratic Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin and former Republican Congressman Mike Rogers. Peters chairs the Democratic Senator Senatorial Campaign Committee and says his job is to help hold the Democratic majority in the Senate. With that in mind, he says over the next few months and come Election Day, all eyes are on Michigan. Uh, Michigan's going to be uh, uh, the center of the political universe, both on the presidential race and on, on the Senate. On the presidential side, I think it's safe to say it's impossible to be president of the United States if you don't win Michigan. That's how crucial our state is. Now, on Congresswoman Slotkin, uh, Peter says she knows how to win in tough districts and has been an incredible champion for the people of Michigan.